Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Horse Ranch LP. So I wanted to first off say thank you so much for all the kind comments on the last video. And it's really cool to see you guys being super excited to see Mallory's journey and everything here in Chestnut Ridge. I too am excited to see where we go from here. So Mallory's been doing a lot of work around the house. She's been spending time moving the old furniture outside and trying to make space for new stuff. So, oh, she really wanted to play some music apparently. She's finally able to cook a nice breakfast because she went to the farmer's market, got some fresh eggs. Let's pretend that there's an egg missing or two. You know, use your imagination. Okay, girl, you can eat. <laughs> um, so we're starting pretty late into our day, but she's been, absolutely not. Did you just make breakfast? You're not gonna eat the pancakes. You're gonna eat the breakfast that you made, honey. Like, hmm? You know, <laughs> mom brain. You know, she got confused that she literally just made a meal and now she's just like, oh, let me just get the leftovers from yesterday. You know, easy. She's still keeping this little like recliner chair around just in case. And currently Jacqueline is sleeping down here because she's actually working on renovating her bedroom right now, which I did say was our top priority right now. So she's been painting a little bit in here. So we do have that going for us. And she did go on a bit of a shopping spree online, purchasing some furniture for her bedroom. So we're gonna be slowly but surely building up our space here. So um, thankfully she got this wallpaper and like posted it up and now she's painting the other walls green so i'm really excited to get this nursery going and we have everything ready for trash day outside so things are being moved out and thankfully making improvements we do however why is this what's this on fire from remember past parties oh my god i thought there was some sort of fire happening or something it says nothing can get in mallory's way when she remembers that party yeah the halloween party we know oh look how pretty it is in here i like actually love it anyways so i did go ahead and add a little bit of clutter here and there because i want to make this place start feeling a little bit more homey oh i forgot i moved this plant because i was having troubles with her cooking and i was like what's going on um, turns out for anybody who did down this house, I didn't test cooking on the stove, which is my mistake. Uh, you gotta move the pot. Just move it over a little bit because for some reason it just covers like this other burner. Today, I really want to go out and kind of like venture around the area and maybe go outside with Jacqueline and get a little bit of fresh air. Maybe meet some townies. I don't know. She's doing pretty okay right now. I think we should go ahead and wake her up and feed her so that we can she's already getting tired like poor woman she's been like working so hard on getting this house more fit and getting rid of everything that she doesn't want i do want to start working on maybe getting into gardening she's really intrigued by the whole idea of nectar making and you know she's like why not give it a shot you know she's never done anything like that before so might as well so i think we're gonna go ahead and purchase some seeds just so that we can start working on maybe growing some stuff here so here's the thing is i originally put all this grass here to make it look very overgrown but tell me why i kind of don't hate it i probably will like minimize how much grass is around here but i do like the effect of it feeling like there's grass instead of it being like that you know like flat you know what i'm saying so i might keep it around but adjust things a little bit are you gonna breastfeed her while you watch tv why is this so cute? Like, huh? We're gonna change her outfit. We're gonna wear her little yeehaw fit because why not? And then we're gonna head out for a little walk. I think there is a board around here where we can learn about Chestnut Ridge and everything like of the sort. So let me see if I can find it. I think it was around here somewhere. So why don't you go over here and do that? All right. Daphne. Yes, okay. All right, let's go for a little walk or or jog, you know, jog's fine too. <laughs> Her little legs are jiggling. That's so cute. Are you enjoying it? Your face is telling me no. <laughs> Absolutely not. She's like, mom, why? <laughs> oh, there is this spot over here. It's kind of like a park. We might head over here for a little bit and hang out. Why not? Get to know the area a little bit. Leave the house. 
Oh, hey, we're new here. How's it going? All right, so this just tells us about Roberto Crinkletop, which is the mysterious rancher, and then Sienna Grove, who's the horse trainer. So she can be found at the equestrian center. And then he find him around Bits and Bales Mercantile in New Appaloosa, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for a few hours around high noon. Oh. If we really want to learn more about, I guess, nectar making, we could potentially go oh, and see him. So love. here's the thing, is because she doesn't have a job, I was thinking that maybe we could have her try and do some community jobs. Now, the thing is, I think a lot of these do require, like, ranch animals like the sheep and the goat and then this one requires like needing a horse the only one we can do is train a neighbor's horse but the thing is like she has no qualifications in that so we can't really do that which kind of sucks but maybe we'll have to figure out something else <laughs> as far as making money so oh my god police there needs to be a mod that gets rid of these events because i don't like that it scares me every time, literally. Maybe we just disregard the community jobs for now and we just focus on trying to get nectar making going. I'm gonna have to get rid of this soccer ball. Oh, hey, don't step on my baby. Just don't, okay, thank you. <laughs> Maybe we should go introduce ourselves to Juniper because we don't know her. So let's go and do a howdy introduction. Oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? We're new here. Um, don't really know what goes on here. Bess, do you wish to look as happy as I do? Listen, I need every single simoleon that I can get, so I'm sorry. I'm not gonna help. Sorry. But our telemarketing scam was, yeah, pretty bad. Oh no, why are we getting nuggets? Oh look, somebody else. Wait, no, come back. Marissa. Please, we need friends. Oh, who's this? Don Gooseman. Hey guys, look at my cute little baby. We're new. Uh, we just moved in to the fixer upper over there. Girl, not this. She's said, ugh, my eyes. Which actually, speaking of attractiveness, she does have this little want here, which says get into a relationship. Mallory feels ready for a commitment. There is nothing nobler. Nobler? Is that what it says? Nobler? That doesn't sound like a real word, but anyways. She's, like, ready to get into a relationship, which I... I mean, listen. I'm not rushing into anything. I will pin it. It might go away, but I'm not going to disregard the fact that she wants that. Okay, we're having an awkward encounter here, so we're just going to walk away. Like, it was so nice meeting you guys. We'll see you around. Girl, what is this run? <laughs> the hot girl run. <laughs> <laughs> okay i did see that we do have the option to i think it was teach her to sit up or something like that let me see i swear i did maybe i didn't oh she's blowing kisses you are so precious we gotta work at this okay oh she learned something what did you learn what was it Oh, are you taking a fo- Stop, that's so cute. Capturing her baby's moments. Oh, she learned how to roll over. Look at you. She's so proud. All right, well, she's getting ready for bed, and then we're gonna have Mallory try and get some seeds online. And now it's time for sleep, so you do that, because we have some other businesses to attend to, so. Oh, and now you have a smelly diaper? Girl, come on. Bless you, but like, please. Let me do some work. I understand a baby is a lot of work, but... Come on, Jacqueline. Now you can go to sleep. Okay, so, why don't you order seeds? So we're gonna buy some starter fruit seeds. Okay, we'll do three packets. Let's open these up and see what we get. All right. Okay, we got some grapes, which is good. Oh no! <laughs> the photos that I took last time. Look at that. I should have taken multiple. <laughs> Listen, bad camera quality. What am I gonna say? Okay, well, um, that's great. Oh, we have our little graduation photo. Oh my god, not the gnome. 
Okay, so these were all busts, but apparently you can take like proper photos of your infants. But last time mine was grayed out when I was trying to do them. So we'll give it a shot this episode because I want to try and see what kind of pictures we can get of baby Jacqueline. Oh, first word. You said your first word. Was it soul soul? So we are going to go ahead and start working on our little garden. So we're going to put Jacqueline down here while we go ahead and plant our seeds so why don't you just work on tummy time and oh mallory's flourishing as much as her crop is this budding emotion a sign that she likes gardening i'm gonna say yes we'll probably get some other crops growing later on but i think having us like start with one will be easier so we're gonna do that she learned how to creep look at her go this is so cute like i would never have expected mallory to be in an era like this where she's gardening but here we are why are you crying you're already sleepy again gotta keep this little one entertained because otherwise she's crying so mallory got a knock on the door and her packages have arrived so we now have a bunch of stuff in for the nursery so i'm gonna go ahead and have her unpack everything all right so mallory ended up finishing up the nursery and unpacking everything that she had so this isn't the final product of the nursery by any means like it obviously feels still very empty but this is what we have going on right now and i think it's really cute we got a new crib for her as well this one's a lot cozier and cuter and i love that this one has sunflower swatches because for some reason like this series i associate with sunflowers i think mainly because i put them in the front of the house and i just think of sunflowers when i think of them and i think it's just really like bright and happy when i saw this i was like i need to give this to her what girl she's like i really want to be doing backflips like i used to back in the day i say that but she was like in high school not that long ago i was thinking about a job for her because we're not really gonna be able to do anything with the community jobs she doesn't have any experience with anything and we don't have the requirements for that so we could get her some job that she can work from home because a lot of the careers you can now like either go to work and i would do odd jobs but that means leaving um jacqueline behind and i know i can t have her go to daycare and stuff but i don't think that she's ready to like have her go to daycare just yet so I do want to have a job where we can just be home. Now, I was initially thinking freelancer career, but I don't know if I really want to get into that. There's nothing here that I can see her really being. On the other hand, what we could potentially do is get into social media. This is something that could be very easy for her. I mean, she's still very young and knows how social media works and all that stuff. And then the description for it says, what's trending, what's the best food in town, who's the most interesting celebrity? So because she's staying in Chestnut Ridge, I was thinking maybe she could have some sort of a blog where she like documents her stay here and like maybe her day-to-day -day life and how things are going for her and like people could keep up with her and stuff so i don't expect her to be like some sort of big celebrity by any means like if she starts getting like celebrity status like i'm gonna bump that down because that's not what i want for her but this could be like a way to get some side money while we are picking up our feet so we're gonna get started on this and i mean look we already have 25 followers and we have charisma skill we're not gonna go to a park so i'm not gonna do that I'm gonna try and do everything that I can where we can stay home. So, so she just needs to update her social media status. So we're gonna do that. For some reason, I can't update my social media status. I don't know why. Maybe I have to do it through the computer. Or maybe because I actually need to make a proper social media profile. So she's gonna create her blog and then we can start documenting her little life here. I know girl, coming up with a name is so hard. What would she even name her blog? I have no idea. No, we're not. So Mallory has created a new social media platform. Nobody can go anywhere in social media sphere if they don't have an online presence. Use your social media profile to gain followers, grow your network, and become an online powerhouse. So we already know how that works. But why are you sad? No woos today, girl. Let everybody know what you're up to. Oh shoot, we already have 580 followers. I mean, that's probably also because of Social Bunny. So there is that. Let's see if we can try and take a photo of her. Take a photo of Jacqueline. Oh, girl, let's not take it in the bathroom. Let's go outside at least. Take a picture of Jacqueline. Oh, okay, wait. Oh, so they're just like on their little... Oh, wait, isn't this the gallery photos? 
that's so cute. We can practice sitting with her. We might as well. We gotta get this going so we can start eating real baby food, hun. Oh, she learned already? You're so fast. Did she? She did, look at her. Come on, Jacqueline. You're growing up so fast. Oh, she's so proud of herself, as you should be. We gotta start buying stuff for her bedroom as well. I was gonna make this bedroom hers, but I realized that it's a bit too small, unfortunately. It's hard to fit a double bed in here. I'm hoping that these will start growing soon. I really want, oh, it's out of season. That's so right. I didn't even think about that. Maybe we just purchase some grapes because we didn't know. She's new to gardening. How is she supposed to know? Oh no, she woke up with a sore back from her cheap bed. Ouch, that mattress was firm like concrete. Your room is up next. This other room, I don't think we... <gasps> Look at the way the lighting is hitting this room right now. I wish my house looked like this all the time in this game. Uh-oh. So we're gonna disregard this room for a bit and we're gonna try and focus on this one and then the rest of the house. I think the bedrooms are the most important at this moment. Okay, so Jacqueline just got her first blowout and now she's scooting and I don't know if she got it all over her mom too, but they're both looking like a mess having a rough morning already, which isn't very ideal. So we gotta go ahead and give her a bath and then we need one ourselves. Why are you wearing shoes? Oh, this is actually her first bath, I think. She might have had one back in Copperdale, but I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I love just them like bonding together. Oh, there we go. Now she got her first bubble bath milestone. So you're probably wondering who is this woman sitting next to Mallory? Well, Mallory got a knock at the door and this lady introduced herself as Denise Holt. She said she was a longtime friend of her grandfather's and she heard word that someone new is in town and it looks like they're living in the old steel house. And so she had to come by and introduce herself. She also brought over a plate of cookies for us as well. Now, Denise does actually know Mallory. Like she met her when she was really young when her parents came here with her. She hasn't seen her since then. And she has a little one now, which she's actually playing with the little horse horse like how cute so denise already actually knew that mallory would be the one who'd be owning the properties so she does reside in the other house that mallory is also an owner of which is the steel winery manor so she lives there because technically her and mallory's grandfather weren't just friends they were in love now, they were friends since they were really young and eventually they moved on and like they both separately got married and everything like that. Eventually, after both their spouses ended up passing over time, they ended up meeting back up with each other and just being together and she helped him with his business and they sort of just like lived together, worked together and they just had a really beautiful love story. Are you gonna play the guitar for us now? You're not that great, I'm so sorry to say. Yeah, so Mallory does own the property that she lives on, but it was never the thing where he said, okay, as soon as Mallory takes over, like you're gonna be kicked out, like there's nothing of the sort. Even if that was the case, Mallory clearly prefers living here. I mean, she owns both, so she doesn't need to have a huge property at the moment. Maybe in the future she'll move in there, but for now, like we're pretty comfortable here. I'm actually gonna have her come over here and take a look at baby Jacqueline because she's never seen her before, obviously. I gotta get rid of this soccer ball, like, right now because I can't. I'm just gonna put it outside where it belongs. Oh no, she's leaving. No, don't leave. No, 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 girl. That's right, I was gonna say, I was like, don't leave. Go, go meet Jacqueline. Read toddler book. We could do that, I guess. Do you sit down to read? I'm assuming you probably do, huh? I actually haven't seen this interaction. Oh, wait. Oh, she's like, uh, maybe we'll read later. <laughs> oh, did you want to actually hear the story? Oh, okay. Mallory, you just sit and listen. Oh, she's grabbing a plate of the cookies. What are these again? 
Oatmeal cookies. Denise, come here. Don't run away. Oh, I can ask to be introduced. I didn't even see that. Go introduce her. This is Jacqueline. Oh, she learned to clap. You are doing so well today. My gosh. She's going to hand Jacqueline to Denise. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so cute. She's like, I'm just going to put you down, though. <laughs> Oh, she got first visitor milestone as well. Denise did mention to her that she should come by and check out the place because obviously she has not seen it or anything yet. So we'll definitely be heading there uh, probably tomorrow. She obviously wants to see what exactly is going on over there and maybe she can learn nectar making from Denise. Clearly she knows all about it and so that would be very helpful for us. So... We'll definitely be doing that. I do, however, want to... Why is there a puddle here? What the heck? Why are you crying? Oh, yeah, I need to add the baby mobile thing. So maybe we'll work on that later because I can't do it while she's in here. I wonder if the look of it's going to be different as well since this is a CC bed instead of having the, like, space-themed one. That'd be really cute. So I think what we might do since we can't really grow grapes currently. I might go ahead and just buy some and have her at least try out nectar making by herself and then we'll learn more with Denise. So I'm gonna just give it a shot and see. I mean we do actually have apples I'm pretty sure don't we? Yeah we do. So we can try and make apple nectar. I forgot that I literally already bought them. So we'll do apple nectar first and just try it. All right are you ready? Okay, she's going for it. Yeah, no no shoes. This could be very therapeutic for her as well. Honestly. There you go, you're getting the hang of it. Oh! I spoke too soon. Listen, you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> it's your first time. She seems to be enjoying it though. Oh, and there she goes again. I don't know why I'm looking at this and I'm just thinking about Cheetos. <laughs> I don't know why. Like the orange color just reminds me of the Cheeto dust for some reason. <laughs> All right, so she just acquired the nectar making skill. Oh, we can't reach it. We gotta move the boxes. All right, can you grab it now? All right, go and grab it. We got our first nectar. So we can learn about more of this in our notebook, but we're gonna label it. I didn't even realize that there was a proper description for these. So, Mallory's first apple nectar. I thought that maybe she would have like put a little label on it and wrote, I wanted to try out nectar making on my own, so it's not great, but I enjoyed the process of making it. Something about stomping on fruit feels so freeing. And so now we have our first bottle of nectar, which is kind of exciting. Oh, I like that it actually says the description as well that I wrote. So she would so post about this. So I feel like maybe we take a little Simstagram photo and post it. She's already on the computer, like getting ready to post, I guess. But I'm gonna have her come down here. That's actually kind of a nice picture. Can we add a little filter? I do kind of like how this effect looks, watch. The dark one. But I think we'll actually put it into the nectar rack. Now we can upload it to Simstagram. We can just keep it here, honestly. We gained 20 more followers for that. Nice. We'll have her grab something to eat real quick. Oh, she's grabbing the cookies. Actually, we should probably put these away. We can also probably start having her read a little bit on gardening since we did buy that book. And she clearly didn't know that grapes aren't in season. So we got to learn about what is in season for summer. Ah. Oh, she said that's enough reading for today. Oh, maybe not. Oh, she's listening to some tunes while she reads. Such a vibe, Mallory. Oh, that music is giving me fantasy vibes. When I tell you, I've been so obsessed with anything fantasy related, books, movies, games, everything. Like I've been playing The Witcher 3. And let me tell you, I love that game so much. I just generally love The Witcher as well. And it makes me want to play like a fantasy type of Sims game. But I don't know. Oh, the music is literally giving me that. I love. 
Oh, she's almost level two of gardening. I think after she reaches level two of gardening, we can research it on the computer because I was trying to do it earlier, but it wasn't letting me. Okay, she's done with reading for today and it's time for bed. I keep hearing this noise and now I'm realizing it's the lamp making it. I was like, wow, I'm like, is this something outside making that sound? No, it's the freaking lamp. Watch Milestone. What are we watching now? What is it? Oh, are you waving? This girl's learning everything. All right, so I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this episode off here. And then in the next one, we'll be visiting the winery and getting into more of nectar making Ooh. and all of that. But with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a video very soon. Bye guys.